Our other big focus tonight, an NDTV exclusive. The CBI will soon file its charge sheet in the June 2004 encounter of Isha Jahan. And NDTV has learned uh, the CBI, uh, from CBI sources that the charge sheet will say Isha was an innocent college girl, not a terrorist out there to kill Chief Minister Narendra Modi. Sunetra Chaudhary with that story. They said it was a fake encounter but were silent on their antecedents. Now, CBI's final charge sheet in the Ishad Jahan killing of 2004 will fill in the gaps and uphold what many activists have claimed that 19-year-old Ishad was not a terrorist. NDTV has learned that the charge sheet expected to be filed later this month will demolish the Gujarat police theory that Ishrat was part of the plot to kill Chief Minister Narendra Modi. CBI will trace her movements from her home in Mumbra to the point when she was abducted by IB officials. It will say no evidence has been found against Ishrat. Her companion, Javed Sheikh, was an intelligence informer and the other two, Amjad Ali and Zishan Zohar, were non-Indians against whom the CBI does not have conclusive evidence. This is a happy news for us, but this is the fact that we are saying this with the whole trust. And we knew that there is no other name of this, there is no other name of this. There is no other name of Hindustan, जिस पर विश्वास करके लड़ाई हम लड़ते आ रहे हैं वहां पर हम समझते हैं कि सच की जीत होनी है द सीबीआई इज नाउ एट द स्टेज ऑफ गेटिंग दीस फाइंडिंग्स लीगली वेटेड बिकॉज़ द पॉलिटिकल इंप्लिकेशंस ऑफ दिस केस द बीजेपी हैज ऑलरेडी सेड दैट दे डोंट फाइंड दीस फाइंडिंग्स वेरी कन्विंसिंग इट डजंट सरप्राइज अस दैट द सीबीआई इज येट अगेन चेंजिंग इट्स पोजीशन बट द कांग्रेस रिफ्यूट्स दिस एलिगेशन but the CBI fact finding and the CBI charge sheet uh, is the matter for the court. It's not matter for my party. But there's no denying the case has always been political. The CBI also took the court's permission to interrogate jailed IPS officer DG Vanzara on his explosive letter that claimed Chief Minister Narendra Modi and his deputy Amit Shah had knowledge of the encounters. But sources say he was uncooperative even though the CBI tried over three days. With Ketki Angri and Sandeep Fukan, Sunetra Chaudhary for NDTV. Well, is the Isha Jahan case now just going to become an even bigger uh, political controversy? That's what we're discussing tonight. Joining us uh, on that debate, uh, Brinda Grover, lawyer for Isha Jahan's family. We're also being joined by Ami Ben Yagnik of the Gujarat uh, Congress. Pinky Anand Arti Jairat continue to be with us as well. But Brinda, let me bring this to you first. The CBI now saying or now about to say that uh, Isha Jahan was completely innocent. She was a college girl. She was certainly not out there to kill Mr. Modi. Um, none of this comes as a surprise. Not at all. In fact, it's a little Kafkaesque. Please remember, Isha Jahan is not an accused in this case. So her being innocent or not innocent is actually irrelevant before the court of law. It is relevant only for the political fortunes of the BJP's prime ministerial candidate. Isha Jahan was not a terrorist. There was nothing, no evidence. The whole idea was to project her as a terrorist so as to say that, look, these are acts being done uh, as part of patriotism and as Vanjara himself outlined that this is how they were inspired and guided to conduct this. Uh, what it now actually needs to be brought into focus is that clearly, after saying Javed Sheikh is an IB informer, there is a larger conspiracy at work beyond the persons who have already been charge sheeted. The IB per officers who were under the radar the other uh, politicians, the chief minister, the home minister, who not only from the charge sheet and the CBI investigation, from the sting operation, the manuscript of which is now available on the Tehelka website, showing from the advocate general to the secretary to the chief minister, the accused persons all together conspiring, talking and discussing how to obstruct the investigation, saying that yes, the chief minister is interested, the DYSP statement saying Vanjara has taken the nod from the CM himself. All this adds up to saying the conspiracy is larger. The CBI needs to investigate further. Conspiracy larger, CBI needs to investigate further. Pinky Anand, are you questioning the timing of this? <laughs> what else? I mean, you know, in fact, I'll tell you, I'm not questioning because one was thinking that this is probably something that the Congress will come up at this time because 
now the going is too good for Modi ji, so something has to be brought. And it's, it's a timing of about two weeks, three weeks. Every time some some issue comes up, and I'm I'm not shocked at it. I'm not surprised at it because it was expected. However, the falsity of the entire situation is. I mean, it, how blatant can it be? CBI is now by now the Congress Bureau of Investigation, call it or call it whichever way. Because CBI's credibility is really getting nowhere. A, B, there is enough evidence on the record including the website of the terrorist uh, organizations which uh, showed that Ishrat was a member. There is enough uh, documentation to show that Hedley Rinder statement. Agrokar, I can see you shaking your head again. Yeah. Are we just really which you know, in withdrawn. a sense Rinder reiterating only say this. all the known positions on this case already? Completely. I mean they really don't have anything to say. I just want to say this. No, I'm sorry. The CBI, I'm sorry you have nothing was, to say but to say that a website of a case. terrorist organization well, they can believe has, the Dawa, has their Kaiba. name Dashkari Arun Jaitley downwards, the letter of 1st October of Arun Jaitley to the Prime Minister citing chapter and verse of the lashkar e uh, website. I didn't know they had such faith in what the lashkar e says. Secondly, the CBI and was, brought into, statement, Rinda, the CBI was brought into this case by the division bench of the Gujarat High Court. Is the BJP may casting aspersions? The Advocate General has already committed criminal contempt of court. He continues to hold office. It's scandalous. Now they are saying the CBI which has reporting to the uh, Gujarat High Court. They are saying that the CBI is being manipulated. The timing, we are the ones who are objecting to the timing. It has taken okay. a decade to get the truth out. That is how cleverly, how effectively BJP, the Gujarat government has obstructed this investigation. Now as far as the David Headley bit goes, the CBI didn't actually have that on record. But you know, ultimately, CBI is supposed to investigate into the matter when you are filing a charge sheet. The CBI is supposed to take cognizance of everything and could have access to Headley's statement. So, by saying they have access or they have it today is not the issue. The question is, everybody seems to know about it. If CBI chooses to restrain itself or refrain from relying upon it or getting access to it, I think the answers are very clear. And the fact about Vrinda is trying to portray that the High Court appointed CBI, therefore, there is anything being said to the High Court, that's not the point. The point is, CBI is being used as, as an agency for the benefit of perpetuation of the Congress's philosophy and to Are try to beat out... Uh, on this. Do, you, uh, do you think uh, that this is no longer about legal justice? It's just, in fact, just become an entirely political case. No, and a political I think issue. the BJP's argument is completely wrong. See, listen, it's not a question of whether Isha Jahan was a L.E.T. activist or whether she was an innocent college girl. If she was an innocent college girl, it's even more tragic what happened to her. But the fact is, what we're looking at is whether she was killed in cold blood or whether, you know, I mean, she was actually doing something and, you know, there was an exchange of fire and so on. I think it's very clear. All evidence points to the fact that these people were gunned down in cold blood. Now, I mean, the police has no right to act like a vigilante squad that goes around killing people before they've even been proved guilty or been charged with any crime or anything like that. And yeah, I think that's that, really the that issue at stake over, here. With these revelations of Javed Sheikh being uh, actually an intelligence informer, uh, etc., actually, in a, in, in a sense, make this that much worse? Well, actually, what it shows is that the IB, certain people in the IB, not IB as an institution, but certain officers in the IB who are close to the chief minister, and this is on record, there is nothing unusual that I am saying here, have manipulated, misused, abused very, very important offices to further certain political careers. And the fact that Javed Sheikh was called there, these are all now things that are coming out in the investigation. I think now at least, for the sake of the security of the people of the country, the BJP needs to stop protecting and shielding these uh, criminal officers and criminal political leaders. In fact, Arun Jaitley's letter of 1st October was a clear indication that something was in the offing and therefore that letter was shot off. Uh, there was, there's, actually, the BJP knew this was coming. That letter explains it. So it is important for BJP now to say that when they talk of governance, you cannot in governance kill people in cold blood, in prior oh, custody, sorry. innocent college girl gunned down, called a terrorist, family has had to live with this shame and stigma. They owe a huge apology and reparations to the family. 
Ankita, you know, this is this seems to be the only ag agenda which anybody is seeming to run because Modi ji's popularity is gaining by leaps and we bounds. No so the idea, we Vinda, the don't shout. Party. Your no, shouting no, no, will make sorry. no difference. It's this this entire discussion on the charge sheet and CBI's investigations. You remember when the last leak was being discussed? There was another aspect of it which was trying to gun down the uh, the Chief Minister of Gujarat and to try to bring him down. It didn't work. So that was the last item on, on the on the uh, table. Now the second one, as I said, this was not surprising. This was anticipated. So. By, by Vrinda saying she's right, Mr. Jaitley and everybody else anticipated that something is going to come up which is going to be untoward and something which doesn't match. And on Aarti's statement, I'll say this, nobody is saying the fact that there is anything good about any encounter which is in cold blood. But the factum remains, a. there are two factums. One is regarding the encounter and first of all, it was a genuine one, there is no issue on that score. The second part about it being, the second part about <laughs> I it, think the there are many issues on that score. Maybe, 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 I think maybe all the but, the, but the second part, the when, I, when Aarti says it is not significant that she is a, a college going student and not a terrorist, I'm afraid, even that is very relevant to take away the entire... Uh, Discussion well, I think, uh, process. We're not even actually discussing yes. uh, whether the encounter was fake or no, not. No, no, no. Uh, I'm saying the second feature on the factum that whether she was a college-going student, as, as CBI is now seeming to come out with, is a total aberration from all the records. And the question is not who believes X side or Y side. This is the organization's own website. The question of discrediting or crediting it is not up to us. I mean, if they come out with something which says that she's Vindabra, a member of very that. Quickly. Two things. This is this case and Ishwar Jahan's killing is not a political battle between the Congress and the BJP. This family filed the case in August 2004. She, the mother is the one who should stand up and ask why she has not got justice for 10 years. The question of timing is totally irrelevant. They have obstructed justice over and over again. This is not about the Congress party. Let's get that out of the way. Secondly, this citing the uh, Lashkar-e Toiba Jamaat Dawa website if they want to cite it, I have no faith in these terrorist organizations, I don't go to their websites. If they, BJP wishes to cite them, then let them cite the retraction also. That was also pasted. It also, I'm told, exists. I'm sure when they read the first part, they read the second part. So if, the, if they say yes, and then they say no, believe both of them. There is no evidence that the CBI, an Indian in investigating agency, which they seem to have, no trust in and the BJP today believes in the lashkar e -Toyba. What is going on? And what about Hedley's statement? What no, would you I, say to that? Hedley, the, the double I agent of US and Pakistan is and another hot favorite of the BJP sorry, nowadays. I think what we need to really look at is what the police has been doing in Gujarat. And you know this whole thing of you know the murky underworld of the police. The police, the IB, the you know IB informers. You, and and it, this why is they not, were doing And it? this is not the only fake encounter. There, have, there were at least three or four others. I mean, we're discussing Isha Jahan because hers was the most tragic. She was really probably, you know, completely innocent in this. And she was what they call collateral damage. But the fact is that, you know, it, 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 this was not the only fake right. encounter. There were at least three others. And but we have to look at the, the murky manner in which the police and the IBs was functioning in Gujarat. And why were they doing it? And what were the links?